I've been persistently asked to check out this drum playthrough of Meshuggah's Clockworks. So, all right, Aaron Setzer, you got it. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna check this out. So Bleed uh, is the only song by Shmashuga I really know, and it's really impressive. Uh, very technically proficient musicians, um, but I've not listened to a lot of Meshuga at all. I don't, I don't think I've heard this song ever. Um, it's seven minutes long. It's a drum playthrough. I like drummers. Let's check it out and go. This is gonna melt my brain, isn't it? Oh my god. The coordination. Lots of doubles on that left. And, and the fucking hi-hats going. Oh man, it's all coordination. I know that sounds like a stupid thing to say, but this is very, very difficult coordination going on here. The head fuck. Ah. It's, it's that little fill. Wait. That. Got two high hats? I was getting confused there. The guitar is doing like the triplet rhythm there. The drums aren't doing as much. Either the time signature is insane or it's just the sick of patient is fucking my head. That's a tasty groove! Oh my god, it's, it's such an uncomfortable... Repeating bar pattern to deal with. The right hand makes it look so simple, but whatever everything else is doing around that is tricky as fuck. Jesus. It's just endless. Oh, that's fucking right. Oh. <laughs> ah, stop. It's a time to that's really fucked with my head. He has to be so on it. This is an insane guitar solo. What a weird selection of notes. Ah, oh, that was seamless. That hot hat on the left is doing a lot of work. I'm tired just watching it. Double that up with that bass. Hello. <laughs> Come on. This is fucking. I'm really getting into this now. This is tasty. 
Leading into the offbeat by making that the downbeat of the drums. Nice. It just rolls and rolls and rolls and rolls and it's so intentional. The placement. Ah. Not rushing, not lagging. Straight on it, smooth throughout. I'm gonna do rudiments for days on them. This song has a million drum hits in it. <laughs> and he's a tandem player, every last one. Get busy. Shots that offbeat snare. Ooh, just the toms. And the pedals are fucking. Uh, this man is a machine. <laughs> well, how do you end that song with just a, <laughs> a snare flam? Finished. That was mind melting in a very different way to the way I kind of expected. I mean, I Bleed of their other song that I've heard is kind of like that. It's sort of, it's busy and it rolls and it rolls and it rolls endlessly, but it's not actually, it's not repeating the same thing again and again and again. They're within what seems like a repeated rhythmic pattern. They'll, he'll just move shit like half a beat this way and that way, come in and out a bar or two early maybe here and there, what it sounds like, but actually fucking who knows, maybe, the guitars are doing like a whole 16 bars of, of normalness and he's doing his own thing coming in and out with just like syncopating the beat to make you think that you're off in a new bar, but you're not. It's confusing as fuck. I don't know how he can remember all of those, those moments and all of the variety of the hits he's doing in there because sometimes they repeat it in a, in a predictable way and sometimes they just did not. And it was like a, yeah, kind of like a math quiz, but with, but with a sort of mad consistency of frequency of hits throughout that it, but it, I don't know how, <laughs> that was a lot, that was a lot. How are you doing that as part of like a 20 song set list? Assuming they're doing that because Meshuggah are a big band, right? So they must be doing some headline tours and quite successfully at this point. They probably play for an hour and a half and he's just <laughs> Jesus Christ. But his, his technique's fantastic. He's not working the fuck out of it. It's, it's actually pretty relaxed. It's all coordination. He's not trying to hit it as hard as he can. He's trying to hit it as accurately as possible with some feel and expression. And it looks very sustainable for him to do that. I, could, I can't fucking play that. That's insane. Um, a delight to watch. And at times, I just, I got into a tunnel vision darkness of like zoning in on it and zoning out. And it was, that was insane. That was insane. I enjoyed that. And uh, now I feel like I can barely play drums because some people are really, really fucking good at it. Uh, but it's fine. It's good to be humbled. 
because you can turn that into uh, inspiration and spend more time on your rudiments and get the chops up. So you can maybe do that one day yourself. I don't know if I'll ever have time, but uh, I really enjoy, enjoy checking out that and watching other people, you know, hone their craft in that way. And uh, oh, there was some absolute tasteness in that. What a finish, loved it. Thank you, Aaron, for persistence and uh, for having me check that one out. I, that was, yeah, that was mind melting. If you enjoyed this video, please do boop the like button. It'll help other people on YouTube find and potentially enjoy this video as well. If you want to see more videos like this, then feel free to subscribe and then you'll see future videos that I make doing reactions here. If you're interested in music beyond the rock genre, do feel free to check out the link in the description. Otherwise, have a wonderful day and maybe I'll see you in another video.